Johnny, thanks for your patience, mate. We'll come to you first. Hi, hey, Jack. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you, mate. Talk to us about the international break. How's it been? What have you been doing during the international break? Uh, you know what? It's been good. It's been good. You know, he's bal- the manager's balanced it well. Um, we've had a few few days off here and there, but we've been in training, a couple double sessions. I think that's the German way. Um, <laughs> but no, it's been really good. Good sessions, got good good amount of um, work into our legs and bodies and um, no, all the boys are feeling really good. The she- sessions have been really sharp and um, yeah, like everyone's looking forward to getting into these last eight games and um, giving everything we can. Can you tell us a bit about what you've been working on then? Because it's the longest period you've had with Andre, isn't it? Yeah, I can't tell you everything because we've been doing, <laughs> no, a lot of, <laughs> been doing a lot of tactical work. Um, but no, we've been doing like... Um, just always, as always, working on technical work, passing, uh, patterns of play. Um, you know, there's been a lot of small-sided and game-related stuff over the international break, which I think the boys, well, I know the boys have really enjoyed, um, and I have as well. So it's been good. It's been good. bit of competition throughout the week, and everyone has been good vibes, yeah. How much do you need those good vibes and that enjoyment factor when, obviously, the position in the league, there's quite a lot of pressure on it at the moment. You know this final running means so much to so many people so how much do you need to keep it light-hearted at times do you think yeah like you said it means so much to everyone um fans players staff everyone involved with the club it means everything that we keep this club in this league and um you know having good vibes is really important um you know as you see last year we we stayed up and we had good morale and i can see the exact same happening here um you know, everyone, everyone's in really good place mentally um, and there's really good vibes around the place from players, staff to f- like everyone that I'm bumping into that is associated with the club is in a really good place. And, um, you know, I, I can sense a, a calm, calm and confident um, aura around the place. And I think that is traveling through and into the players and, you know, um, a good week of training and a good international break. And, you know, we're ready for Friday. I was going to ask about last year compared to this year and how, how you feel about it and, and that comparison of the, the battle you were in last year and how you got out of it. What do you think you've learned from that one that you can bring into this one? Um, I think a lot, of, a lot of the boys were in it last year as well. I think um, every season's different. There's different teams, there's different, different um, things going on. But, um, you know, I think we're all just focused on the moment now. Um, last year happened. We stayed up. Um, this year we're in a in another situation, and um, we're confident we're going to do it and stay up. And you know, um, everyone's feeling good, so we're ready to go into this last uh, eight games uh, confident, ready to put everything into it and and do our best. On an individual basis, how have you found Andre and what he's asking of of you then? Uh, no, he's been he's been really good with me. He. Um, he, he's hard on me. He's on me every day in training. He tells me that. He says, um, he says that he's not gonna, he's not gonna um, stop being on my back and being on my case until I get to the top. So it's good to know that he believes in me. And um, and uh, yeah, I enjoy working with him a lot. He does. He helps me and gives me tips from his his career as well. He helps me with does some finishing drills with me he does, like so he's been really good um, and he gives me a lot of good advice so I'm enjoying every minute working with him so far um, and I think the boys have too and um, you know um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying playing under him and um, hopefully we'll get some really good results in these last eight games Do you think that brings out the best in you then when a manager's with you day in day out as you put it riding you day in day out giving you that advice and and that knowledge every single day some players might not necessarily like that but do you think that brings out the best in you yeah i think i think i'd say so you know um you know some players uh go like to go about their way in different ways but you know um i like having good good um relationship with a manager which i do and um one where like he can tell me and i can talk to him and i can say my views he can say his views and and he'll just help me uh uh at all times and you know that's what he's been doing he's been helping me giving me advice and um, you know hopefully I can repay all his work into me on the pitch um, in these last eight games and it must be nice as well because you've had I think he's the sixth different person that you've had managing you since you came to Huddersfield Town which is obviously not what you signed up for of course but it must be nice to, to have somebody right now that is individually picking you out and putting that individual work into you I'm not saying others didn't do that but to hear you say that that's what's happening must be a, a big positive for you 
Yeah, no, like like you said, he has six managers in. I think this is one and three quarters of a season I've been here, which is um, which is a lot, but you know it's part of the game, you know. Um, so um, it's good to have a manager like you said that is um, pushing me, um, and I know that when he's pushing me, it's from a good place and a place where he believes in me. So um, yeah, I take that and uh, I use it to make myself better. How determined are you to get out of the position the club's in right now? You've been here for two relegation battles. Again, not what you signed up for when you came to the club, was it? Clearly not what you would have hoped for. So how determined are you to, to help them out of it? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm very determined, just like I was last year. Um, you know, what's happened this season has not been, uh, results-wise, haven't been always the greatest. Um, like, we all know that. But that that... All the rest of the results this season, like that's happened now. Got to put that behind us. You know, there's eight games left. Uh, we all got to stick together, fans, players, staff. You know what what's happened was is has has happened, and um, you know eight games left. We're gonna give it all our um, our all even, and um, yeah, we're gonna go for it, and we're gonna do everyone proud and put put a little effort in and um, keep this club up. Do you think the international breaks come at a good time then for you as a as a group to be able to have that reset and look at it almost as a, a mini league now? You've got to go out there for these eight, haven't you, and rack up as many points as possible? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think like like I just said, like we've put like the first bit of the season behind. We're just focused on this these eight games left and like it's like a reset. Um, you know, especially the most recent results haven't always haven't gone as good. Maybe form, performances haven't been as as we'd liked. Um, so you know, to have that break, it can give us like a reset button. And now we're fresh, we're ready. We've got some proper training into us. Um, like like I said, the the vibes around the camp are really good, and um, you know, we're we're just buzzing to get to it. Like I can't wait to be out there Friday and Monday. Um, you know, big games like this. This is these are the ones that I want to play in. You know. Um, uh, games that have meaning, games that where where I can step up and perform, and this is this is what 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 I'm here for. Good stuff, top man. Cheers, Jack. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Johnny. We'll come to Stephen from the Arteta. Thanks, Jack. You mentioned um, Trey has been putting you through sort of um, finishing drills. Obviously, he's a former centre forward. Is he getting personally involved in that with you? Well, I think he, I think he assists me. He gives me the passes, <laughs> and then I, I get on the end of them and and finish them off. But like. He's been giving me good tips on like actual finishing, which finishes in which areas uh, he thinks are better for me, and it's been it's been good detail, and um, you know, um, hopefully we'll see it paying off. You've been playing as a, a number ten basically since Andre came in for the most part. How do you how are you finding that role, and how are you finding sort of what Andre's asking for you from that role? Yeah, no, I found it I found it really good. Um, you know. There's been a couple of results that I think as a team we're not we're not happy about and performance is more with that we're not happy about. Um so I think we can all vouch for that. But um on the whole, like I'm really enjoying it. Um it gives me a good role, um, freedom to join the attack, but he also asks me to get back in and do my defensive work, which which I'm happy and I like to do, um, to help the team out. Um but you know, he likes me to stay stay higher up and affect the game in the final third more and try and create for the team which um which I'm gonna be doing and um uh yeah so that's what he's asked of me. No no Silver Thomas on Friday obviously he'll be suspended. Does that sort of put more creative impetus onto onto you for the week for Friday? Yeah, I, yeah I guess so. I think onto all of us we're all trying to create. Silver's a creative player and um, it's a good player to play with out there. Um, but, you know, um, we're all going to be trying our best to, to create. And um, same for me. I'm going to be out there trying to create. And um, hopefully we will create chances, which I'm sure we will. And, and I'm sure we'll get goals. Andre's spoken a lot since he came in about sort of wanting to see a bit more discipline from the team. Not, not in terms of sort of, you know, yellow cards, etc. But in terms of, you know, keeping your shape and, and things like that. I think Rotherham people might have expected you to win, but seeing out the clean sheet with 10 men, does that sort of provide you a step forward towards that, potentially? Look, look we, like, we wanted to win against Rotherham. Um, we know like we were expected to win, even with 10 men. I think we still felt we had had enough of the ball and enough chances to win. Um, but football's football, stuff doesn't always go your way. Um, obviously, having, 10, having 11 would have helped us even more. But um, 
yeah, like I said, stuff happens, we put that behind us and we have these last eight games to put it right. You've had sort of a lot of games this season where you started well or you've played well for sort of, not, not you, but the team for sort of, you know, 45, 75, 80 minutes and then maybe not been able to see out the, the 90. Do you think those sort of double sessions you've done the past couple of weeks will, will help you with that as a squad? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the training has been good. Um, we feel strong physically and, um, you know, we're ready to go. Uh, put everything into these last eight games and um, yeah I think we're, we're feeling strong as a group and we can go into these games to give our all and last uh, play well and play strong for the whole 90 minutes. I think we've seen sort of this season that if you have the opportunity to play on the counter-attack you can be you know superb at that as a team. I think maybe we've seen the past couple of weeks though if you have to break a team down it becomes a bit more difficult for you. Is that something that Andre has been looking at with you as a team this past couple of weeks as well? Yeah, no, because I agree. Um, on the counter attack, we can be really, really good. And um, when teams do give us the low block, for example, Cardiff, um, we did find it harder to break them down, which um, we have worked on. And, you know, it's about finding ways to break them down, staying patient and keeping them shuffling side to side until the gaps appear um, to play through and, and kill teams off. But um, yeah, we're, we're working day in, day out and um, we, we feel we're ready for any challenge that comes our way now and um, we can we can cause any team problems on our day. You say you're sort of, as a group, well up for these games, particularly sort of, I know you've got Coventry before that that you'll need to concentrate on, but you've got some six points going up, likes of of Stoke and Birmingham and Millwall are those sort of games that you approach with particular relish? I think every single one is a is a six pointer you know um, championships are a league where anyone can beat anyone um, and every game means everything right now so we're going into every game with that same mentality we have to win um, you know there's a lot of teams in in and around us but um, you know, we want to win all of these games if we can and put ourselves right into a good spot and right out of the out of the mix. Um, so Coventry are a really good side, good players, good manager and, you know, um, we're going into that. With, we're ready, we're going to know they're, they're a good team, but, you know, we're ready to go out there and win. Fantastic. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. Steve, we'll <coughs> finish online with Leon from the Archer Post. <coughs> Oh, thanks, David. Hello, hello, Jack. Uh, I was just wondering the, the character of, of Andre is very intense, and he, he looks at the fine, finer details, and a bit obsessive about that. I mean, I have spoken to you before, and you sort of, you know, study other people's games, and you, you serious, and you look at other, you know, just to get an extra edge, an extra one percent. I mean, he seems to be the coach who could probably, you know, really get the most out of you. Would you say? Yeah, no, I think um, we share the same. Same love for football and love for for detail. So I think that's how yeah. that's how we get along. And he helps me on the pitch, and we he helps me with little sessions he does after training for me um, with like finishing and stuff. Because I always yeah. wanna I wanna better myself and wanna always score more goals, get more assists, or do what I can to to improve myself. So um, him being on me as well and co uh, constantly telling yeah. me t I need to keep getting better. Um, encourages me to do that, and um, you know it's good. I think, I think we have a good relationship in the time we've um, we've um, been working together, and yeah, well, hopefully we'll go strength to strength in these last eight games, and we can we can do something really good. Have you been a fan of German football before coaching that sort of thing? Have you sort of looked at it? Uh, I don't think I worked so well um, with like German coaches really, um, but I've watched. I've watched um, a lot of Bundesliga here and there um, yeah. when it's on the TV or the German teams that play in, play in uh, Champions League and um, Dels, Dels told me a little bit about the Bundesliga from yeah. his time there um, but I think I think the countries and leagues are very different so um, yeah. right now we're focused on the, on the Championship and how we beat teams in the Championship Yeah, I, I was just looking at, I know a couple of years ago you you got relegated at AFC Wimbledon right at the end of the season. I mean, it's a it's a bit of pill to swallow. That must be a, a, a big motivation um, for you to sort of, you know, per, personally, you know, keep keep out of it. Cause I know you had a, you had a good personal season, but it was obviously with what happened at the end. It's that's what leaves the better taste, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it's something that was disappointing at the time. Um, 
something I never want to go through again, which uh, which I won't, and we'll keep keep Huddersfield up this season. Um, I'm determined to, and yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing all I can, and I know my teammates will, and we've got enough quality in the squad to to stay up more than enough. Um, you know, yeah. even in training recently, the sharpness of of everyone has been really good, and you look around and you think like we've got yeah. quality, like so like there's surely there's no chance we're gonna gonna go down so we're, we're believing and uh we've just got to go out there and perform when it matters was that was that i'm guessing it, was that your last game for one then it probably wasn't, wasn't it? yeah that that was my that was my last game i think accrington accrington at home last day of the season went down last goal yeah. too so it was all right yeah big motivation to sort of you know yeah obviously you got out of it last year didn't you and this year as well yeah yeah so hopefully um yeah. Uh, no more, no more relegations ever again. And um, you know, yeah. and I f- fully believe Huddersfield will be in in the championship next season. Um, but ultimately, it's down to us players to go out there and do do the goods. And um, I have full yeah. belief that me and the team will. Fingers crossed for you, Jack. Thanks for Cheers. Your thank you, mate. Thanks, Leon. We'll be back with Andre about half one, guys. Thank you. Okay. Cheers, Jack. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Thank.
positive note. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny, for your patience. We'll start with you. Andre, how are you? How's the international break been for you, first of all? No, we had a good time. We uh, had a mix uh, of uh, recovery days and uh, also hard uh, training days. Uh, for the first time in the season, I heard that uh, we had a double sessions per day, and uh, yeah, the boys uh, did it really well. And uh, then they d deserved a free weekend. So uh, also this week, uh, yeah, we they, the boys they trained uh, with with high mentality, um, with focus uh, for for the next um, task. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm happy with the training week and uh, um, with the uh, with the last ten days. Did it surprise you that they were surprised at double sessions? To be honest, it's an, uh, it should be a normal thing um, during um, international break or in the preseason, and uh, I don't want to speak too much about the past. Yeah. Um, so we we concentrate uh, on the, on the things we can uh, influence uh, now. So um, they did it well, but uh, they asked after the, the third session uh, what will <laughs> um, be the uh, content in the training because uh, they were a little bit tired, uh, but it's uh, absolutely normal and uh, um, yeah, a, a signal uh, for the future. Did you get the response you wanted from them? It sounds like you did then, that you got the response you wanted during the break for the work you wanted them to put in. Yes, uh, we uh, we had some good contents in in, in in this time, and we used the chance to to have a long sessions uh, to um, uh, to train in details, um, in defending, and also in uh, in attacking and final pass. Uh, we need a little bit more quality. We we saw the last the last matches. We created uh, many many opportunities and. So we also need the last passes and uh, to finish um, uh, that we can score goals and this uh, were the main themes um, in the last 10 days. Has that been the priority? Has that, I was going to ask you, defence, attack, what's been the priority in this two week window you've had? Yeah, um, highest priority in defending and in attacking and in set pieces. Uh, then, <laughs> this, then we have the whole game. Um, yeah, many things are important and uh, yes, we we want to improve and uh, we want to develop uh, in a short time and um, in my opinion um, I've been here for six weeks and uh, yeah, we improved and developed in many things uh, in the game and um, all the stats they show that um, but uh, it's not reflected in, uh, in the results so um, uh, we saw many many positive things also in the Rotherham game I know many many supporters or also, the players and the coaching staff, they were disappointed uh, after the nil, nil But to be honest, to play with 10 players over 35 minutes, normally you, you should be happy to, to take a point with you. But the boys, they played so well that uh, no one could see that we played uh, with, with 10 players. And uh, for me, this is absolutely positive because we try to build up. Uh, we are so much better in ball possession game. Uh, we create chances in uh, our attacking play. And uh, yeah, we have many more opportunities to score goals, but we have to score, and uh, this is the reason we uh, we wanted to have many successful moments in the training. And uh, yeah, the the other thing is that we uh, should uh, finish the game with 11 players. Yeah? It cost us uh, um, four points um, because of the red card in uh, against Leeds or in Rotherham, and I'm sure that we uh, could win this game. So. Um, yeah, we are very, very positive uh, with the improvement, uh, but now we need uh, the points uh, to, um, yeah, to to uh, have uh, more um, good moments and, uh, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, successful moments. You mentioned as well that they had a few days off, of course, as you would expect in the international break. How important was that psychologically? Do you think because it can be quite a pressurised time of the season, can't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it was the last time to to recover for some days because there are a lot of games in the whole season and the last few weeks uh, we we had many games and um, yeah for this for the players uh, they um, stayed here. Uh, it was good to have a short break to uh, feel fresh in the head to spend some time with with the families and uh, but then also train really hard because we have many things we can work in on. So uh, it was a good mix, and I have uh, really good experiences in, uh, from other um, uh, clubs uh, to to train uh, in this style. And um, I think uh, 
um, they, they, the players they, they liked this uh, to, to train, concentrate and uh, uh, high intensive uh, for a short time and then have also a break because they, they saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh, and now this week we have the focus on, on the game uh, on Friday and yeah, it's not easy because we also have some players uh, playing national teams and uh, so um, we have to take uh, the decision latest tomorrow um, to decide um, um, yeah, the starting eleven. Yeah, how are you looking in terms of players coming back from international duty healthy and also within your current crop that didn't go away, are you, are you healthy? Yeah, all the players are healthy and uh, yeah, we are maybe lucky. <laughs> uh, it, was, uh, not, uh, it was not the same the whole uh, season. Uh, there were a lot of injuries, but um, um, yeah, they, they uh, came back healthy. Also, the players, they, they train with us, they all healthy, just little uh, things, but uh, everyone wants to, to start on Friday and then on Monday, two games in a short time. And this is really important yeah, to take all the training session because uh, it's uh, also a question of uh, of being fit and um, yeah um, outsiders um, um, they 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 cannot know what uh, happens uh, during a week which players uh, are on the pitch or not um, um, and uh, so for the last 10 days we had a lot of uh, uh, players in the training the whole sessions and uh, so it uh, it's uh, much easier uh, for me or maybe more difficult to decide uh, um, for the players to uh, start on uh, Friday. We just spoke to Jack Ridoni and he was telling us about the sessions you've been putting in with him and the hard work you've been putting in day to day with him and really making sure you're on his back day to day. Why do you feel he needs that? Yeah, we work with uh, with many players, and it was uh, an example for for Jack Rodoni. Um, um, he is a really good player between the lines. Uh, he is a t technical high standard on a high level, um, but he, he 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 didn't score too many goals. So um, we have to bring him in, into the position to score goals. And uh, a player with this quality and with this potential. Um, to improve, uh, we want to help him, and this is my style of uh, of coaching a team and uh, improving uh, every uh, or each player um, to to find out what is necessary is necessary to take the next step. and uh, And for, for him is to score goals because he is excellent in the first touch and the second touch, but when he's around the, the box, <coughs> he is not calm enough to score. Yeah, and then he shot with one hundred percent, but it's not necessary from sixty meters. When he takes a good shot with the with the inside, yeah, it's in. So, and uh, for this, we have to train every day. I told him um, um, 10 shots every day after the training like this, and then you, you um, create an automation and you don't think about the situation in the game. You shoot this automatically um, shot and then normally it's in. And um, yeah, for this, we find uh, many, many things for, for, for the players to improve and to, de de to develop uh, that it's possible to step the next uh, uh, step yeah to take the next step on the on the, on the, uh, on a higher level and it's translating that from the training ground to in front of thousands of fans isn't it i don't know um i i don't make the things for the for the fans uh, or for for or um, yeah for looking good uh, uh, as a head coach uh, for me um, it depends on the player i want to improve the players and uh, this is the most important thing for me um but uh, when uh, our media department uh, they they did it really uh, well and they they all make a fantastic job uh, when they um, uh, prepare some uh, good clips for the for the supporters and um, they could uh, see uh, some uh, little things from the training and uh, yeah i appreciate this and jack told us as well he feels that there is a calmness around the club heading into these final eight games despite the fact there's a lot riding on these eight games do you sense that as well within the group yeah, absolutely, because I try to um, go uh, this way um, as a, a head coach. Uh, I didn't find this after the Rotherham game, uh, to be honest. I couldn't understand uh, um, the reaction. Um, I, I understand uh, the dis uh, dissatisfaction um, over many years. And uh, when you, when you uh, finish um, uh, on uh, 16, uh, when you finish in, in 10 of 12 years on 16 or worse, and uh, just two times um, better in the playoffs. Uh, I can understand that they are um, unlucky with so many defeats, but uh, 
for me, um, I uh, I'm used to win, <laughs> and uh, uh, for me, it's really important to to say again. It's only the most important thing is to stay together. We need our supporters, and they did it so well in Watford and against Leeds. Every other game, they were behind us, behind the team, and uh, and we need this. And uh, uh, when uh, the reaction in Rotherham after no no with ten players, normally it was the last chance for for Rotherham to win one game against ten players. It's easy, and they had no chance. They can uh, spend uh, them an applause for the players for this great job. Yeah, we all wanted to to win and. All the fans and all the people around the, uh, uh, around town, they uh, they can be sure that I always want to have the best players on the pitch. Uh, but in this game, it was the best not to make a substitution because the players on the pitch they were close to score the goal. And sometimes you know, then you make a substitution and uh, then it changed everything. And then you um, you lose this game. And then I have to tell you why I had made the substitution. No, we had a really good feeling, and uh, when we played with eleven, yeah, Danny Ward, uh, we know about his quality, but he's not a player to play ten against eleven. Yeah, he need bare balls into the box when we play eleven on eleven, and the, the opponent is uh, tired. So I couldn't understand the reaction. We, the boys, the boys, they need all the support uh, you can give as a as a supporter, and uh, this is what I want to to tell again because it's. Uh, we have uh, eight more games and uh, it's really important to stay together and uh, this is a chance to, to, to stay in the league and I'm totally sure for this, but when we don't stay together then there is no chance. Uh, guess a supporter might say that then in the same scenario again in the future, will you be more attacking if you need to be late on in a game, if it's 11 against 11? I think many understand 11 against 10 is a very different scenario, but going into these final eight games, do you want your side to be more attacking, braver, and will your selections therefore be that as well? Yes, it's uh, the style uh, to play. We want to uh, press high, but um, then there are moments uh, in the game we have to um, uh, defend as a unit, uh, may maybe in the midfield block to, to uh, have good ball wins uh, in, uh, with short distances uh, to make it uh, difficult for the, for the opposition to create chances. and. We also have uh, quick players to play attacking um, transition, so it's it's a mix, and we want to play variable. But uh, uh, the principle, and we always speak about principles. Yeah, yes, we want to press forward. Uh, we want to be active. We want to win the game, and this is for me always uh, um, the thing I I tell the players uh, because um, uh, when you think too much about losing, you cannot win. We want win. We want to win games and. Uh, we want to try every time the best, yeah. And sometimes the opponents are uh, better. Then we have to spend them applause. But uh, it must be really, really hard to be better on one day against uh, us. So uh, I'm sure the 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 boys they will do their absolutely best on Friday to win this game. Yeah, Coventry is a good team with quality. But we um, showed the the last few weeks um, again and again against really, uh, teams like in Watford or um, uh, in a home game against Leeds, we can beat them. Also West Brom, first half, over 60 minutes, we were fantastic. And uh, um, I think, uh, and I see this in the training session, we, we make uh, some more steps. And uh, so for this, I'm um, really hopefully that we can uh, see a good performance from our team uh, on Friday and hopefully a win. Good stuff. Thank you, Andre. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Stephen from the Art Terriers. Hi, Andre. How are things looking injury-wise? Oh, injuries. We have no injuries. No. Everything is fine. They, they, they feel really good and a little bit tired sometimes after a good training session. But uh, Brody, he um, arrived um, yesterday evening. He played two times over 90 minutes. Uh, um, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he played well, and uh, yeah, he's, he was really happy to win a special uh, game uh, against Scotland. Uh, but um, he's healthy, and uh, also Radinho, he spent uh, the first time uh, with with his uh, national team. Arrived uh, on Sunday is uh, healthy. Also, I don't know Pat Jones because uh, he um, arrived uh, this afternoon and. Uh, there is no option for, for Saturday because uh, he didn't uh, join one training session, but we hope uh, maybe on, on Monday. And uh, yeah, but I don't know if he is also healthy. But all the other guys, uh, yeah, in, in a 
they are in a good shape, I think. So, Rhys Healy, is he back in contention now? Yes, um, he is also an option for the squad because he's high motivated. He waited a long time uh, to, to, to train with the team. And uh, yes, uh, we started um, um, with him as a neutral in training session without contact to the opponent. And then the, he took the next step last week in a little tournament. And then this week uh, he made all the things with the team. Yes. Um, It, he's not ready for 90 minutes, uh, it must be clear, but, uh, but uh, uh, it's possible to play minimum 30 um, or 20 minutes and uh, then maybe we can uh, use his, his um, experience because we all know that he scored a lot of goals in the past and uh, he's absolutely, uh, absolutely a good option for the next games. And Tom Lees and Bojan Radulovic, are they both better as well? Tom Lees and? Uh, Bojan Radulovic. Uh, Bojan is uh, with the team in normal training session. He trained all the sessions the last uh, two uh, weeks. Uh, okay, Tom Lees, I forgot, important player. Yes, he is uh, injured and uh, out for, for some weeks, uh, but uh, he is um, without uh, pain uh, at this moment. And then we have to take the next steps uh, to see uh, when it's possible to train again with the team. Okay, it's a shame to miss Tom Lees, but you've got good options at centre-back, haven't you, with Rodinho and Michal and Matty Pearson, so do you feel confident that that side, particularly after those, kept a, those three kept a clean sheet last time, that they can continue to do the job for you? Yes, absolutely, they did it really well. Uh, we defend as a team um, really good. Uh, yes, in the, the last row they, uh, they played uh, absolutely um, good, but also the midfielder and the strikers, they did a, a a good job because uh, it's always necessary to play as a team and uh, it's not uh, good when when uh, just eight players uh, defend uh, against the ball then it, it, it doesn't work so um, yeah Tom Lees is an important player for our team and he with a lot of experience and um, winning duels uh, winning headers uh, but Uh, we have now also our players uh, like Radinho um, is back from, from his long injury and uh, yeah, they did it well. So we have to uh, look forward and uh, um, yeah, to, to hope that uh, it uh, works like uh, the last game in Rotherham in defending. You talked about needing that final ball against Rotherham. You're now missing Sorba Thomas on Friday. He'll be suspended. Do you feel confident that the The other players in the squad will be able to step up and provide that kind of delivery for the forwards? It was uh, one of my first meetings uh, when we uh, played in Watford and uh, also Sorba Thomas was uh, not in the starting 11 because um, of his uh, partner. They, they got a little sweet baby later and uh, it, it depends never on one or two players. Uh, the most important thing is the team and uh, we have to work as a team. Yeah, we have uh, players that uh, can make the difference and uh, Sorba is one of this. We know about uh, his quality and his uh, uh, level for the, for, for the team, but uh, uh, we showed uh, that uh, it's possible to win without him. So we find another solution for him and um, um, yeah, then I think it's, pos uh, it's also um, possible to win the game without him. That's all from me. Best luck for Friday. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. We'll just finish off with Leon from the Yorkshire Post online. Yeah. Uh, thank, thanks, David. Um, hello, Andre. Uh, hello. Brody, Sp Brody Spencer. He's a he's a talented young player. How how highly do you rate him, and how how good can he? How much potential has he got? Yeah, I know him now for, for around six weeks and um, I saw many, many games before. He is uh, always uh, near to 100% in every game. He is absolutely professional. Uh, sometimes uh, he looks uh, like uh, a 25-year-old man. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he, yeah, he's a man. He's a man and uh, not a little child uh, and he plays like a man. and. Uh, we can trust him and we can believe in him. Uh, yeah, he has potential to develop and to improve uh, some things, but um, for his age, he's on a, on a really high level. And this is the reason why he is also a national player. He played two times over 90 minutes in his age. It's not uh, normal. And he did it well. And um, Romania is a really good uh, um, um, opposition. They played a draw and uh, now the win in Scotland. And uh, when I spoke to him this morning, uh, he was so happy uh, 
to uh, to uh, to enjoy um, this atmosphere in the stadium yesterday. This big win. He spoke about a big win for for his uh, country, and these are um, uh, these are really special moments. And uh, and um, yeah, so it should be a motivation for all the players uh, to to give their best to to play uh, such big big games to. To yeah. remember in many years about uh, this uh, this game. This is uh, why I became professional um, to have good pictures. Uh, the trophies uh, that um, they are not really important, but uh, yeah. the pictures and the, and the clips in your head, uh, laughing, smile, uh, smile faces, and uh, yeah. this is uh, what you never forget. Um, Mikkel Halleck, he wasn't in the in the Poland squad, but Poland are in the the finals. Um, that's a motivation for him. He's been in the squad before. If he finishes the season well, possibly he gets uh, recognition. Yes, um, uh, we spoke also about uh, the, the Polish penalties from yesterday. They were really calm and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and the celebration uh, were excellent. And uh, yeah, for, for in my opinion, you should go to to the. Yeah. Uh, to the um, um, Euro, um, because uh, that would mean that he, he scores uh, maybe later five uh, five goals and maybe not, uh, also four assists. I agree. Yeah, yeah we were, he should give it the best, and I, I will tell him tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you're going to need your squad for all the games, uh, an impact from your squad. Josh Karoma is a player who can can score goals out of nothing. Do you think he can, he's going to still play an, an important part? He has he has goals in his locker. He can do things to to win games. Yes, uh, he is a player with high potential, and um, uh, it's uh, really funny because uh, we had a, a, a talk um, thirty yeah. minutes ago. <laughs> I showed him some clips from training sessions, uh, what I expect yeah. and what I don't want to see, and uh, I think it was. Uh, Absolutely clear, and now he he knows what uh, he has to do to stand on the pitch. Yeah, and they, the the squad they seem to be in good spirits and and, and calm. The break has come at a good time. The break. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, yes, because um, it's always good to have a short break when you have a lot of games and we had a lot of injuries and we we took the time yeah. to prepare players like Rees or also Radinho with the national team. <coughs> Um, to to make the next step, uh, yeah, it was a, it was the right moment for this and uh, and the other players um, they they could train hard uh, to also to 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 make the next steps. Yeah, it was yeah. fine. And just finally, Rich and, and Bojan, it's been a difficult um, start to their Huddersfield career. They will be keen to make a big impression now when it ma when it matters. Bojan and Reese. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, uh, I, I, I speak to, to all the players uh, most of the time, uh, sometimes small talks, like sometimes in my office and uh, with Bojan. Um, yeah, I had some talks uh, in, the, in the last few days and uh, yeah. yes, um, he had a really difficult start and um, it was not uh, really easy for him, but uh, also for all the other person um, uh, when you're out and uh, you, uh, you don't uh, train uh, too much sessions then it's normal also for the manager that you uh, that you don't start uh, and uh, it was the same for me but now for 10 days he is with the team without um, um, a, a little injury and uh, he trained well and uh, you could see that he has the quality he is a, a, a striker can score goals you can see this but uh, it's also a new league. A championship is not like uh, the the league in Finland. Yes. Much stronger, and um, for this it needs some time. But that uh, he is a player with quality, you can see, and it's the same yeah. for for Ries. Um, he had uh, had many 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 injuries, and um, then yeah, a, a long injury now here in, in Huddersfield, and um, yeah. So, yeah. but now he trained hard. He is absolutely professional. He is positive yeah. and. Uh, he uh, provocates me to, to, to let him in the squad on Friday. <laughs> he is ready and uh, he told me that he can score goals and uh, yes, we need, we need goals. So uh, uh, yeah. maybe uh, I, I give him the chance to, to, to yeah. be in the squad. Very best of luck, Andre. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks everyone, we'll see you all on Thanks, Friday. Andre. Thank, Thank you. you.